Good morning, good morning. Yeah, we're having a morning. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. It's me, Rebecca, and I'm here for English story time with you. Yay! Hi, friends. Happy Wednesday. Are you guys ready to read a story with me? Mm -hmm. Today I have Bear Feels Scared. Scared. <gasps> Scared. Uh oh, I wonder why he feels scared. But before we get started reading, let's get started with our hello song, our stretching, and our counting. Yes, let's do it. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. How are you? How are you? I am fine, thank you. I am fine, thank you. And you? and you. How are you guys feeling today? Are you feeling happy or sad? And oh my goodness, I've got to put on my do not disturb. Oh. Are you feeling sad <laughs> or angry or confused or sleepy or excited, excited, excited? Excited, excited. I'm excited today. I missed you guys. Very happy to be here. Ah, Gus and Rosie, are you there? Yes. All right, before we get started, let's do our stretching. Put your hands up, 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 up. And put your hands down, 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 down. And in front and in back and up and down, in front, in back, and up and down, in front, in back, up, down, front, back, up, down, front, back, up, down, front, back, stop. Did you stop? Yes. Good job, you guys. Awesome. All right, are you ready to count? I'm ready to count. Let me see your hands and your fingers and your hands and your fingers and your hands and your fingers. And let's count. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More? Let's count it higher. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Hakel. <laughs> Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. A twenty, 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 twenty. But guys, can we count it even higher? Can we count by tens? Yes. Let's do it. <clears throat> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now that's a lot. All right, friends, are you ready to read a story with me? Yes. Let's do it. Bear <coughs> feels scared. Mm -hmm. But before that, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Check it out. I have a cool new language sprout water bottle. Those are coming in the camp boxes. It's gonna be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yay for water. Bear feels scared. Hmm. Do you ever feel scared? In the deep, dark woods, by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small, crooked trail. Crooked means it goes like this. Straight and crooked. So a crooked road. <clears throat> Bear's tummy growls. Ooh as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. He's cold, <laughs> so cold. That's not any fun, is it? He is not home yet when the sun starts to set. Ooh, the sun rises in the morning and it sets in the evening. And the bear feels scared. Uh-oh, it's gonna be dark. 
Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? Are there spooks? Look at him, he's kind of scared. You see him in the picture? Oh, poor bear. I think if I was outside in the cold and shivering, I'd be scared too. The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me, poor me, oh, poor me. I'm lost and it's cold and I'm scared. And the bear feels scared. Oh my. I'm sorry you feel scared, bear. Meanwhile, back in the warm, cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. Oh, there's his friends all waiting for him. It is late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cries Hare. Shouldn't Bear be home? Oh, it looks like his friends are a little scared or worried. Those are good friends. Wren tweets from his perch. We must all go search. What if Bear feels scared? Oh, there's Wren, an owl, and possum. I don't know what he is. And a bunny and a mole. Hmm. The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend, Bear. Oh, what good friends. Oh, that's a badger. That's what he is. But Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. He's crying. There's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Ah! Oh, poor Bear. I'm glad his friends are coming for him. Bear trembles in the wind, how he longs for a friend, and Bear feels scared. There he is, and the wind is blowing, and he feels scared and alone. Badger lights a lamp, and he shouts, let's go! Look at him. Look at him. He's like a warrior badger. Let's go! All the birds search high while the rest search low. The birds fly high and everybody else is low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the hill through the wild, wet weather. Look at that, and they're all kind of tied together so they don't get lost. That is smart. These are smart animals. They call, ho bear, are you there? Are you there? and the bear feels scared. Do you guys see the bear? <clears throat> but he perks up his ears. Bing, bing, perk. Is it Mole calling out? Is that Hare's voice? Does Bear hear them shout? Yes, to save the day. Wren, Owl, and Raven all squawk from the sky. It's Bear! He is there! And they sigh big sighs. <gasps> Woof! They found him. Look at those guys. What great friends. What great searchers. And by a tree waits Bear, ten feet from his lair. And the bear looks scared. He wasn't even very far, you guys. Look at those awesome friends. With a flap and flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs and they calm his bear fears. Oh, they gave a bear bear hugs. Bear bear hugs. That's funny. Aw, that's some love. Give him a hug. Yay, bear. Do you guys want to try to give him a big bear hug? It's good to do that. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Oh, look at that. That's a cozy bed. Do you guys sleep like that? 
maybe with mom or dad or brother or sister sometimes, all cozy in a heap. That's pretty fun to do. That's a special day. Cut it up, cuddled up tight, they snore through the night, and the bear feels safe. Wow, they're so cozy. They're so cozy. That's so special. And it's so wonderful that their hearts feel safe. Mm -hmm. That was a little bit scary when we couldn't find the bear. And it was good that his friends went and searched for him. That's what friends are for. Mm -hmm. They want to make sure that you're not scared that you feel safe. That's very special. All right, friends, it was super fun to read a story with you today. It always makes my heart so happy to spend time with you. It really does. Um, tomorrow, Ocean is back with another video. And then two days from now, it's Friday Bingo. Yes. So don't forget to download your bingo cards. Don't forget to come back and see Ocean. Ocean is here at 10 o'clock or 1030. Um, now four days a week doing the mini lesson. And if you haven't ever watched Ocean before, He's really funny, like really funny. You should totally watch him. Um, if you have not registered for camp yet, please do that so that we can get you your boxes on time. That's super important. And check out these cute water bottles and there's stickers to put on them. It's going to be so fun. I think we're going to have so much fun. Other than that, the preschool boxes are getting ready to be shipped out. The leveled boxes for K through sixth graders, we're working on those too. It's pretty busy around here. We are very excited to spend some time with you this summer. All right, friends, that's all I have for today. Let's sing our goodbye song, and I will see you next Wednesday for another story time. Woohoo! Goodbye, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you all next time. Mwah! Kisses and a big bear hug for you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.